Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shalom Shai by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to the Akim, my fellow laborers that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To the confusion of face, Akim, that are lifting up the banner of truth, which is the Holy Bible. To the hopefully elect, the Akwaf, that are listening and learning. Shalom. This is Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the city which is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city with iniquity. What's good, y'all? Uh, uh, it's called, I've been very, very, very frustrated with uh, Europeans, um, with people that look like me and who share uh, an ancestral lineage with me. My primary frustration is we've been so severely miseducated, we don't know how to think. And uh, we've been stripped of our ability to use logic and reason. Um, also, we sit on a pedestal of slavery and colonization, and we sit so high, even those of us who are busting our ass all day, every day, working nonstop, we sit so high on a pedestal of slavery that we can't even see the world for what it truly is. Um, and if we had the gun to our head or the threat of rape at our doorstep every day, we would feel the same sense of urgency that the rest of the world feel, feels or that colonized peoples who are confined uh, to these artificial borders of the United States feel. So let's be very clear. This land is not the Europeans. It never has been. It never will be. What's going down in Standing Rock, what's going down with this new administration is a continuation of 600 years of colonial theft. And I think it's, I, I, there's only one example I can think of that really illustrates this. I was talking to a seven-year-old in my family a couple weeks ago, and we were actually talking about this very thing, about, about stealing land from the indigenous people. And the seven-year-old goes, nobody's taking my land, uh, European kid, by the way, nobody's taking my land, I got a gun. I said, you ain't got no gun. He said, I got a 45. I said, you don't have a 45. He said, no, I got a Nerf gun. I said, okay, 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 let me break this down for you then. Let's say little Ricky, two houses down, comes and steals your, your, your Nerf gun. Is that his Nerf gun? He was like, no, it's my Nerf gun. He stole that from me. I was like, word. Well, it's his now, so deal with it. Ricky grows up, has a kid, and gives that Nerf gun to that kid. Now, is it that kid's Nerf gun? He said, no, it's still my Nerf gun. He took it from me. I said, he didn't take it from you. His dad did. He's only known that Nerf gun was his his whole life. How could you take that back from him? He's like, nah, it's mine. I want it back. I said, okay, fine. Let's play this out a little bit longer. So Lil Ricky's kid has a kid when he gets older. And he gives him that Nerf gun. Is it still your Nerf gun? He was like, yeah, it's always been my Nerf gun. Just because he passed it along to a different guy doesn't mean that it's not mine. I said, well, then perfect. This isn't our land. It never has been. It never will be. And until we return it, any sort of solidarity that we feel with black and indigenous people is a fucking joke. Unless you're willing to give back what you never earned, you are a, a, a opportunist and a liar. And if you are not even willing to admit that this isn't ours in the first place, you're a fool. And I'm not saying this. I, I, maybe I'm saying this because I'm fucking frustrated, and I am because you guys are better than this. If a seven-year-old can figure out this logic, then y'all can figure this out. And I, I, I want more for you. I, I believe that we have the ability to fucking think. We have the ability to, to say, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, it's getting hot out here. It's getting very, very hot. There's clearly something wrong. Oh, wait, I'm in the middle of this? Oh, maybe I have some sort of responsibility here. Maybe I have some sort of responsibility. Oh, literally every article of clothing I have, literally every piece of food I eat is stolen? Damn. And the people who are, are, are mining these raw materials, who are sowing these goods, who are harvesting these foods, they're not even able to eat these foods? They're not even able to wear clothes or have shoes? You got to be kidding me, man. None of you are that selfish. I hope none of you are that selfish, man. None of this shit is ours. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, 
he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go, Salakia. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right. Once again, if any man have an ear, this is Revelation 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints are faithfully and patiently waiting to kill with the sword those that kill them with the sword and to take into captivity those that took them into captivity. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Havashai, by Hashem Rakakodash, Wa Abad Babal.